What is good? In this video, I will be showing you how I make changes and work on my SaaS business. So if you're interested in starting a SaaS company or learning to code to start a business, this is perfect insight into what it's like. So I've been working on a feature for a bit, but today will be more on how I access the business, um, how I save stuff to GitHub. And finally, uh, we'll just be making some simple changes to the UI of uh, the SaaS product. So with that being said, um, let's just get right into it. So the first thing we'll want to do is open up our VS code. So I use GitHub desktop to access uh, my Visual Studio code. So I just have this here. This is the uh, main folder. So I go in like this and here is all my code for my uh, SaaS product. Now the next logical thing, right, is to open up uh, the app in the browser. So I'm going to do that right now. And just like that, we have access to the product. Awesome, guys. So right now we will open up our Google Chrome to take a second and go to localhost 3000. Uh, also, while this loads, uh, please let me know what your SaaS product is in the description below or what, what you want to build. Like I'm always interested in what people are building. So if you have like a business idea, you know, just leave it down below. Uh, we could talk it through if you want. Or maybe you have someone that that also wants the same business. So you guys could like talk it out and, and like get ideas across. Nonetheless, um, what I want to change is firstly this purple outing here. I don't like it. It's it looks a little too much. And also what I want to do is um, in this about us page, I want to change up this color right here. So yeah, let's just uh, get started with that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is work on this. So I'm just going to open up my folder and access the file that it's in. So that being in the mentor page and it will be in this thing right here. So I made this thing called special button. It's a uh, color thing here. I'll go to it. So all it does is make the uh, outage like more like a glow. I don't really want that for now. I'm going to leave it on here just for the sake of it. And just in case I want to do it again, but I am going to remove it right now. So close this back up and go back here and just remove it. As you see, there's nothing there. I personally think it looks better. Um, let me know what you think. Okay, so the next thing we, I said we wanted to do is in the About Us page, I wanna change this into more of a uh, a pink. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this stuff is located in the About page and I believe it's down here. I think this, yes. So background, I like the pink more. I think the pink will be good for now. Uh, maybe I change, I'll change it in the future, uh, but this is how it's looking right now. So personally, I think this looks really, really good. Um, it has full access. Oh, you know what? I'll change one more thing. All right. I'm going to change the prices on, um, on the stripe. So like, I want this to be uh, $10 a month. So I'm, I'm going to change that right now too. So if I go, I'm going to change this to $9.99. All right. So that looks good. And also I'm going to go into the stripe and change um this right here so i'm gonna have to access stripe so I'll, I'll i'll be right back i believe if i change this to 9.99 i'm not sure if i have to access um stripe or not oh great okay i don't have to sometimes it makes me go on stripe and and like do a bunch of stuff i don't want to do um cool this looks really good i'm, I'm really happy with it turned out so right now if i pay for it uh, the pro version will show. And just to show you guys what the pro version looks like, if I sign out, um, firstly, it just doesn't really look as good. And comparing it to the pro version, this is what it looks like. You know, you've got the pro, you can create mentors. Uh, there we go. And you can make whoever you want. I, I love this. This is one of my favorites. And yeah, so that's really it. And now that I've made the changes to the feature, I'm trying to be as best practice as possible when it comes to this because it's just annoying when I have to like go back and I don't know what's going on. So usually what the standards is, if you are going to make changes to your code, every time I make like a significant change, like a, uh, like a payment thing or sometimes color, but not always is I open up my terminal. I kill the terminal and I'm connected to GitHub. So I'll link how to connect your terminal to GitHub because it makes it so much easier. So to update the code, all I have to do is do git add, git commit, and then I can write a message. I don't know, color change. 
color price change, and then git push. So all I did um, was take the code that was changed, accessed the GitHub file that I connected here, which is mentor AI, and then made the changes. So if I go to GitHub, the changes will be there. Look, I just updated and color price change. So just a cool little feature if you are making SaaS products. And with that being said, that's really it. If you did enjoy the video, please let me know. Um, I can make more of this if you would guys like. I'm really into business and making stuff like this, and I'm launching this very, very soon. So um, let me know if, if you are interested, and let me know what sort of tutorials you guys would like because uh, I'm getting a little better at code. Now, with that being said, guys, um, if you do want coaching, uh, I do free coaching, so I'll leave that in the description below. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.